So, dia dekat sekolah by game um, Of course The method of delivery dekat sekolah We cannot change very much Because of the syllabus and the Requirement by the kementerian But Kita engage the student by game Actually One of the experiment like, We know that Internationally the, the research has shown that Game boleh improve learning Game boleh improve delivery And the student are becoming much more Excited To, to do it So kita create this kind of game we put them into group and they are very excited to come to school because kita punya program akan buat hari tu dia nak bangun awal dia kejut mak ayah dia nak pergi sekolah sebab nak main budak-budak suka main kot budak sekolah kan budak-budak sekolah rendah so kalau kita ambil budak sekolah rendah kita nak bagi all this kind of theory new concept of abstract mathematics tambah tolak darab bahagi pun dia dah pening sebenarnya They didn't get the concept Cikgu dah try macam-macam Cuba ni, cuba ni Even dalam kita punya syllabus KSSR apa semua There are methods of Macam mana cikgu nak deliver the knowledge okay, Kena tunjuk gambar A Kena tunjuk gambar B Tunjuk gambar C Benda tu dah di outline oleh kementerian But more or less Still abstract to the student Especially budak-budak yang uh, Rendah ni 1, 2, 3 ni Concept of tambah pun dia tak dapat How do we explain to them? How do we explain ni tolak ni jadi sikit? They cannot get it Alright But with the use of this kind of thing They can make sense When you speak about duit When you speak about barang When you speak about You know this kind of thing They can understand Alright So bila kita bagi the game Eventually they, they mind Together with their friends It's fun because it's a game Alright Dengan kawan they compete The spirit of competition Datang Alright They nak menang They nak always better So they work harder Okay One one of the thing yang 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 kita impose Bila kita main game adalah kita tanya soalan Benda-benda yang dia dah pernah belajar dalam kelas Cikgu pernah ajar Alright Kita bagi dia soalan before main game Dia try jawab dengan boringnya Dengan tak tahunya, dengan berfikirnya Dengan apanya kan Sampai tak dia nak jawab apa semua Waktu main game sebab dia nak menang Sebab dia nak compete dengan kawan dia Oh my god you nampak dia punya effort tu jawab tu Sangat-sangat dahsyat And dia boleh tanya around Dia tanya cikgu Dia tanya kawan dia Yang grup lain Macam mana cara Sebab apa? Aku nak menang Kan? Kawan aku sana Nak makan datang Aku punya rendah lagi So they make sense of A lot of thing Bila dia main They make sense of numbers They make sense of knowledge They make sense of Figures everything So the spirit yang datang Masa dia main tu Eventually They drive out the Learning punya Intention Daripada kita duduk dalam ajar 4 tambah 2, 6 6 lah jawapan dia Memang 4 tambah 2, 6 Itu macam tu Dia orang ah, Okay, 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 okay But eventually when you put 4 ringgit tambah 6 ringgit You dapat ni. So it's different eventually And benda tu pun masih lagi abstract Unless you really see the The real spirit of of of, of the learning Why I need to learn 4 tambah 2, 6 This is what Why Okay The theory of mathematics Tambah tolak darab bagi yang you belajar Ni guna dia So they make sense of it Alright Taklah cik, uh, Balik rumah Cikgu ajar tempat tambah 2 6 Kenapa 6 6 tu apa They still ask that kind of question Bila balik pun You boleh perasan anak-anak sendiri kan So To make sense of thing Yang paling penting Sama juga dengan kita punya student Because we are te teaching them uh, Undergrad Yang mostly 80% theories 20% yang hands on Or even practical So theories tak datang dengan Begitu mudah orang kata You have to have a higher level of thinking And of course Cara kita deliver the knowledge Boleh Tolong ataupun boleh Boleh habiskan dia orang Eventually Alright So this kind of game This kind of activity that Dalam kelas Can help them a lot in Understanding Okay Kahoot is one of the way to Orang kata To make things interesting Because it's online It's fun You akan nampak budak-budak memang ketawa Budak-budak memang Peli kawan sebelah ke Because when you see Kahoot Okay You akan nampak nicknames of your friends Alright, masing-masing daftar dengan nama pelik-pelik Kan, time tu lah you nampak Eh, nama kau macam ni, bukan ni ke nama kau So, something interesting Dalam kelas Biasanya lecturer Dia tak allow student to talk so much Alright Lagilah you nak usik kawan sebelah It's no way uh, Orang kata it's going to happen Alright So, student becoming rigid Duduk Ada setengah lecturer tak bagi Sudah makan, tak bagi Sudah minum, tak bagi apa But ni orang kata depend on you all punya style of delivery lah kan But to me, I I I appreciate the concept orang kata Bebas tapi taklah bebas sampai macam keduri kan contohnya kan 
So in a way biar student rasa macam dia ada will to learn freedom to certain degree. Yes, to certain degree of kenapa kenapa aku kena belajar ni because kita bukan macam dulu student datang belajar orang kata sampai sujud sembah nak belajar kita because kita punya knowledge kan konon dahsyat gila kan. But nowadays kita ada lebih tanggungjawab kot tanggungjawab untuk memastikan dia orang belajar. Dulu punya cikgu kau nak belajar kau buat betul-betul. That's what I believe lah. Alright. Mungkin we are different but it's fine. We are doing the same job basically. Dulu punya cikgu kau datang nak belajar dengan aku, orang kata kau belajar tu betul. Kau buat betul-betul. Okey. Kalau kau okey aku ajar. Kalau kau tak okey aku tak ajar. But those are not the orang kata konsep yang kita boleh pakai hari ni kot. Alright, we have no choice rather than teaching. Orang kata the best way of teaching now kita pergi lagi tengok this kind of thing supaya kita boleh ajar better. So we make actually more effort to teach and more effort to make sure that the student get what we teach them. Alright, this is the mindset yang kita kena ada lah. Alright. So benda ni boleh orang kata turun kepada banyak benda-benda lain termasuklah classroom punya control. Macam mana cara nak buat student tu boleh voluntarily learn and involve because some student dia tak suka involve dalam aktiviti kalau ada group dia duduk senyap diam dekat hujung kawan dia bawah dia tengok so this kind of thing yang dah yang nak nak kena ubah and this kind of game boleh ubah benda tu when when every one of them has to be involved then it's always better okay so some definition the process of using game thinking and game mechanics to solve problem and engage users. Ini tadi lah makna kita ambil satu game bagi dia orang main, bagi dia orang get involved, give some sense of some sense of uh, challenge because the game is always ada aim kan. You nak dapatkan orang kata skor paling tinggi ke, you nak dapatkan kalau macam game tadi ni nak dapatkan duit paling banyak ke ataupun you nak gather things paling ni ke ataupun you nak finish off the challenge paling cepat ke. Game always ada goal. Tapi dalam kita punya classroom hari-hari kita set goal tak? Kita ada learning outcome yang 4 5 biji yang kita duduk ulang sampai the whole semester kan. Tak rasa boring ke? Contohnya lah kan. I ask myself the same question sebenarnya, not just to yourself lah kan. Alright. So every game ada goal and the student can 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 becoming macam very very clear about the goal and they are very much orang tu dalam 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 challenge mode, dalam combat punya mode on that time. So dia akan rasa lebih sangat-sangat orang tu bersemangat untuk achieve that goal that day so to me personally that, that that's very effective we give them short term goal untuk they grab the knowledge bukanlah orang kata benda yang kita ajar tu penting tak penting untuk dia orang dapatkan hari tu uh, time tu cuma the the level of absorption lebih tinggi bila kita bagi dia clear goal macam hari tu punya content hari tu punya syllabus kalau clear for them what to get they will get it kalau tak clear it's difficult alright so there are other definitions uh, turning the class content and the way student learn into game which reward system ok student suka reward ok dalam SPPT pun kita orang diberi banyak gula-gula time tu memang kita excited kan so tapi itu gula-gula punya cerita lah kan it, it, it can be something else it can be some other rewards alright because rewards actually do attract people kat mana pun kalau kita masuk kelas kita bawa satu coklat satu banda kan so today kita punya objective is this one the end of the class kita akan buat some uh, assessment using Kahoot for example siapa dapat highest score satu tabung ni dia punya something like that so that is a clear objective it's a clear reward maybe the student are excited to learn nampak tak kita pun lain bukan macam tu kan kalau kita masuk kelas kita ada something kat depan kan masuk-masuk bawa hamper kan tak tak meja hamper apa tu siapa punya siapa dapat so kita masuk hari ni kita nak buat ni alright kat ujung kelas kita saya akan tanya soalan siapa markah paling tinggi dia boleh buat balik benda tu oh lama kan so gamification ni pun analogi yang atas ni banyak even say this, this is the thing that, that yang yang kita cuba nak sampaikan pada student which is the more student gets the better but this is the reward basically and of course getting both besar ni is always a bonus 
Tapi dia always straight off Alright So nak kena Balance lah Alright So the methods How to do it How to gamify The content Is from all the LO Kita convert into learning activity And of course we put challenge We ask them to compete We show something The score and Celebrate So hari-hari nak kena ada Celebration dalam kelas Taklah hari-hari kot eh Maknanya taklah dalam every Every class Taklah dalam every session Alright Ada setengah-setengah kelas Mungkin kita larat lah nak buat Ada setengah kelas Tak larat kot Takkan hari-hari Kadang-kadang internet pun Alah kacau ni Tak boleh nak buatkan Because some of the Bukan salah Most of the tools Ataupun teknologi Yang ada hari ni Is online It's easy for distribution It's easy for business Tapi it's not easy for us to use Because online issues Alright So tak adalah hari-hari nak kena buat semua benda But this is how This is the method um, Kita punya course Macam mana from the LO Because Kita understand better Benda apa yang sudah nak kena achieve At the end of the time Because kita resign dia punya L1 kan So sudah nak kena achieve apa So focus the activity Based on the LO punya list Basically, kalau dia nak cuba capai apa A, B, C Activity Centered around that kind of thing That's the most easiest way to do lah Alright And of course, it's a game This one Tak semestinya kita kena cover a syllabus By lectures Tak semestinya kita kena cover a content By the slides Alright Kita boleh gamekan the whole syllabus contohnya Kita boleh gamekan the whole topics Alright Cuma pastikan dalam game tu Elemen-elemen yang kena Ada dalam LO Kita punya LO Kena masukkan lah Alright Contoh kita nak ajar Konsep uh, Konsep apa eh Banyak-banyak orang kat sini lain-lain Kita nak ajar Let's say A punya konsep Alright Dan kita nak gamekan A tu Jangan cari game yang tak berkenaan dengan A langsung Nanti defeat the purpose of kita punya activity Alright Whatever it is Kod mana pun we have to put extra effort lah Alright We like it or not If you want to change If you want to make change We have to put extra effort At least mula-mula tu kenalah belajar Macam you datang ke ni It's effort what? Setengah hari kat sini kot Kan? So we have to do something about this thing We have to change We have to make some effort We have to invest some time And invest some energy to do this Tak sia-sia pun insya Allah. Alright? You you will see macam mana student appreciate You as a teachers, Alright Kalau dulu orang style orang ajar Student takut kat cikgu So benda, benda tu agak berjaya Satu ketika dahulu kan But today takut-takut ni is no longer problem Student tak takut kita dah sebenarnya But they respect us when we give them A lot and so much Without expecting anything in return Okay Which is the, the knowledge lah The more creative we are The more they appreciate us basically Okay So this is the things yang mungkin kita boleh adapt and adopt And I think it's very very simple kot kan? Cuma kita nak, nak nak kena fit dengan kita punya content lah Alright. Mungkin in one hour of teaching Kita nak sentuh couple of discipline kan Couple of issues Alright. Mungkin 2-3 jam punya kelas 2-3 hari punya kelas Ataupun 2-3 minggu punya kelas Kita cram in into one or two hours punya kelas Using game Kita boleh cover everything It can be in that Manner also Okay So kalau dulu kita ada A, B, C To grade them Which is very Very yang kata Classic and traditional Punya style Now we might be using level Points Okay bagi dia bash Ni lah yang kerja-kerja extra ni Sehari sebelum tu nak pergi kedai Cari barang apa nak bagi besok ni kan Something like that But basically benda ni boleh bagi effect kot ha? Real experience tu Yes, real experience Tapi classroom yang macam ni Pada saya lebih engaging lebih Student lebih appreciate kot Daripada kita duduk dan lebih lebih kat depan kan So we give them things We give them rewards Yang dia boleh kumpul Dia and dia, dia boleh claim as a, as a macam dinner ke Dengan dengan kita ke For example kan So ada banyak cara yang kita boleh buat lah okay, To make things much more interesting Of course, this thing perlukan more creativity and efforts. So to compete, compete is good, healthy punya competition lah, bukan nak suruh negative thing but on the positive side. Alright, we give them marks, we give them score, kita show them good example. 
And of course Sebelum dia orang buat Kita kena buat dulu lah Okay Sepatutnya macam mana Dan baru kita minta Feedback Okay We have to be the The role model to them This is standard This is biasa Of course almost every time Kita yang buat dulu Baru dia orang buat kan So benda yang biasa Cuma this time around It's no longer dengan Whiteboard and marker Has to be in the form of Materials Okay Students see material More than the things They got whiteboard Okay And of course the score Ada level Ada reward Ada points Ada rank Status Ada polling Ada survey And all the other things Alright So this thing is A bit different Daripada kita punya Style of teaching Biasa lah Biasa kita ajar Faham tak faham Buat couple of example Okay we are done Balik Oh habislah lagu So those kind of things Masih lagi berlaku Tapi <coughs> Tak 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 rasa cukup bangga kot Kalau kita buat macam tu kot eh? Then of course After we get something We celebrate Taklah celebrate nak keluar pergi Makan mana-mana It can be in the classroom Kita praise the student ke We give the reward yang kita nak ke Okay So that The The session Hari tu dalam class is Engaging is Exciting is fun and Memorable Sometimes benda-benda macam ni Yang yang bagi orang kata Hooks to the knowledge yang kita dah Deliver Okay Kita kita always understand that Orang kata bau boleh recall memory kan Betul tak? Kan smell can recall memory Betul? Sometimes kita, kita bau something Datang Memory time kita bau tu Alright Those are the memory peggings They call it Okay so pegging tak semestinya datang dalam bentuk bau saja it can be dalam bentuk lain it can be the fun yang dia boleh memorable punya stories alright it can be some other events that day yang kita buat yang dia boleh ingat from there dia boleh record the, the knowledge okay so the tips to gamify okay ini untuk orang kata pemudah caralah kalau kita berminat minat nak buat Okay, kita boleh mudahkan dia First one Bagi dia level Beside lah Okay, ni dapat A, B, C It's boring It's old term It's boring Does not spark uh, Apa nama tu Spark the The brain Okay Kita punya concept of learning Kita punya kepala otak ni Benda baru Kita akan pay more attention Benda lama kita tak pay attention Tak cahaya Cahaya lah Terima lah Benda baru kita akan Wah kan Kita rasa excited Because This is how Kita punya learning concept Berlaku We learn almost Every second Every microsecond Every millisecond Proses tu always Berlaku And benda-benda yang Otak kita tak biasa Dia akan give more attention Itu Otak Nature of kita punya Brain of learning Alright Benda-benda yang baru Otak kita akan cuba belajar This is the The greatest part of Allah punya creation lah Okay So we have to keep ourselves updated with new things. We have to give them new things so that we can we can we can improve the learning by these new things, alright? And of course, award with badges. So kalau mana nak ada satu kotak badge lah, hari-hari nak kena bagi kan? Okay. So masukkan educational video games ke any media yang you can get from the internet, alright? Put some competition inside. Implement class-wide reward system Homework pun boleh digamifikan And of course social media tools Because this day saya, saya ingat learning ni boleh berlaku like 360 degree kot tak semestinya dengan kita saja. Dia balik boleh 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 online dengan kawan dengan many things Many resource alright It's no longer us and the books It's almost everywhere so we can inspire them We can excite them to do the learning Okay And of course tak semua kelas Tak semua section Tak semua topics You boleh gamify kan Letih kita hari-hari Nak kena buat kan Dah lah ajar banyak subjek Setiap topik tu nak kena game kan Jenuh Nak nak pergi game apa Besok nak buat game apa Game apa Game apa Yang pening Sometimes yes Okay uh, Of course benda-benda yang diajar Masa SPPT All the tools all, all the way of teaching Kaedah apa semua is good But eventually kita akan rasa that benda tu tak sesuai sepanjang sepanjang uh, every every class and tak sesuai for every topic some topic you still have to go on the traditional way of teaching 
writing some of it you boleh gamify kan some of it you boleh make it fun some of it memang boring pun nak buat macam mana kan dah teori memang macam tu you kena ajar you kena sampaikan juga tetapi kalau you creative enough you boleh convert all the theory of session of learning theory tu dalam bentuk game yang dia boleh dapat melalui lain punya kaedah lah and of course cerita baru nali blended learning student center and so on these are the thing yang available online for you to work with kalau tak ada idea kan nak buat apa ni ha ni dia bersepah-sepah ada cuma kena spend masa sikit belajar sikit so for today kahu is one of the focus yang lain-lain ni macam-macam ada kan besok boleh terani lusa terani pulak terani minggu depan ni bulan depan ni minggu depan ni kan tak habis pun sebenarnya kalau nak buat tapi itulah effort lah instead of balik rumah tengok anak kita tengok benda ni kan <laughs> instead of balik rumah nak prepare nak masak lah kita tengok ni kejap lah so that's benda yang kita nak kena buat lah and of course hopefully lah kita dengan lain-lain punya orang kata requirement of KPI lah Myra lah apalah of course it's, it's difficult these days eventually ok so not only this we still have something else nak 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 ambil gambar eh? dah uh, ambil gambar lagi <laughs> kan so we still have all these things for the student to learn these are online tools memang setiap satu ni ada orang kata macam-macam punya tujuan alright dia tak akan describe the thermodynamics theory tak ada punya all these things kita kena masukkan the content to deliver to the student some of it mungkin quiz some of it mungkin online sharing some of it mungkin tempat student hantar assignment contohnya but this thing eventually orang to me lah personal punya sofa yang saya pernah pakai dia tak lah orang kata 99% or even 90% membantu kita dalam delivery sometimes orang kata dia macam sideline of kita punya teaching kita ajar apa yang kita ajar macam biasa but using this tool eventually boleh make things fun dalam kelas daripada dia boring semata-mata kan ok sometimes boleh buat discussion contohnya menggunakan benda-benda macam ni because now banyak universities dekat dekat around us luar dan juga dalam negara they are using something like online punya teaching the whole course online no contact hours face to face punya method yes so this kind of thing eventually will will guide us towards that kind of teaching okay, kita masih lagi implement face to face apa semua now kita nak cuba implement yang tak face to face but eventually things are going towards that direction and Kahul is one of the sistem yang kita nak cuba achieve hari ni lah alright, a game based classroom response system ok, kalau kita nak check student faham tak faham kan, biasanya kita kita tanya student, ok dalam, kat sekolah pun sama, universiti pun sama, bila dah habis faham, bila dah habis lecture, siapa tak faham seorang pun tak angkat tangan siapa yang faham seorang pun tak angkat tangan kan, it happens before, it happens today, but Kahoot can tell us siapa yang boleh siapa yang tak boleh ok so that we know berapa ramai student yang tak dapat eventually kalau half of the student tak dapat something is wrong with our delivery at least we can check ourselves instantly alright so kalau ada seorang tak dapat you pergi dekat dia dah kenapa kau tak dapat semua orang dapat ni kan contohnya apa yang kau tak faham contohnya kan so who will help you to 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 solve the kind of problem so the challenges Alright, tadi kita nampak internet, 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 internet Everywhere is internet That's quite true Technical Alright, because when we speak about internet, data There are a lot of other elements yang masuk campur Like firewall lah, apalah kan And friendliness of the interface lah basically Okay So these are technical These are the sharing, authority Macam-macam isu boleh, boleh keluar lah Alright and how to gamify blended learning experience this is the challenge this stage because blended learning is something that we are very much encouraged to do alright traditional way lectures plus online and multimedia based system alright nak pakai nak pakai youtube ke nak pakai wikipedia ke nak pakai facebook ke nak pakai instagram ke you can always use that and utm is is moving towards that considering whatever you do in the class sebagai markah dalam KPI alright maknanya UTM pun bagi some reward lah kalau you all guna kan 
Tapi again Coming back to the point of Tak semua subjek boleh pakai benda ni Tak semua content boleh pakai Ini sekarang Because tu kita punya understanding these days There are limits of what we can do with this thing But if we put more time More effort Learning Become innovative and creative So you can use them We can use them Okay So this is the current thing lah Face to face dan juga online On the blended punya system So how to Give me five dalam this one So Learning outcomes Assessment and content We put them into activities Of fun With competition Yang ada one, two, three, four tadi tu lah Yang nak kena show Nak kena bagi score Nak kena bagi reward everything So we We Reshape all these three elements Face to face and online Into Activities Masuk-masuk kelas Okay hari ni masuk kelas Kita main Besok masuk kelas Kita main Hari-hari main Student suka kot kan? Because my my experience Masa dekat sekolah tu Macam tu Student bila kita Nak buat lecture Dia payah nak masuk kelas Even parent pun Cakap biasa Nak nak bangun pagi Payah Kadang-kadang bagi alasan Dia memang lah Tak sihat lah Tak nak pergi sekolah Sebab Boring Kan Saya pun tak tahu Macam mana cikgu Punya style of Delivery of teaching Tapi It's always like that Memang dia orang dia orang duduk depan Dia mengajar Student dengar Itu memang benda biasa kot Yang kita nampak Right Tapi bila kita masuk Kita conduct some research kat sana Kita develop tools Kita develop things For the student To play with Bersama-sama tu kita masukkan Dia punya syllabus For them to learn Masa dia experience the game Student like it very much Parent pun bagi feedback Dia macam semangat Nak datang sekolah Saya tak bagi senang nak bangun Apa semua kan Because Dia orang nampak Eh best ni Kat sekolah best Daripada biasa tak best Cikgu ajar Kena hukum Kena rotan Kena tanya Tak faham Kena marah Kena berdiri Kena duduk kat luar Macam-macam Alright. But with this thing Dia orang tak nampak All this kind of punishment Dia nampak the fun So pagi-pagi Memang ayah cepat lah Sikit kan Nak main Kalau terlambat Nanti orang lain Ambil dulu contohnya So dia nak main game tu So ada case Because kita punya tools Are limited Kita panggil student datang Ada yang tak sempat Tak tak orang kata Dah penuh quorumnya Menangis student dulu Orang-orang dekat luar sebab nak masuk nak main ni pasal So nampak tak student Ini I'm, I'm talking about primary school student lah kan They love playing kat mana pun And some of the country Mungkin kat Sweden ke mana ke They no longer have imposed macam syllabus Or this kind of thing Dia bagi benda tu free To develop menggunakan tools and technology Maknanya the tool yang they provide tu Boleh excite and boleh spark the Development of knowledge In that particular area and they want to set lah eventually mm. So our school can adapt and adopt the same approach of the, of, of developing on kata concept from the student. Because student daripada sekolah rendah ni paling critical untuk they build the concept of things, of numbers, of mathematics, of logics, everything. So kalau kita ajar macam universiti, tak tahu lah kan memang jadi macam ni lah sekarang. Bila-bila masuk kibat, mahu mula pening sebab they didn't get it here. On kata, the, the sense of whatever they learn, they didn't get it. Lepas tu bila masuk kembali, everything went down Because the thinking, the innovative, the creativity is not being developed Yelah, diorang cakap lah, this thing now, the approach is holistic for example kan Last, last kali masuk exam juga contohnya kan, so Who knows Right, so I think that's all kot eh Oh, nasib baik Dah thank you So, uh, this is more or less the slide daripada kita punya apa Syed Ali Al-Sagov, alright So my job is just to repeat the thing to you So with some insight of my very little experience So I hope my 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 sharing tak orang kata hurt anybody This is very very true of, of me lah Maksudnya apa yang saya nak cerita nak sampaikan Because I have some small experience engaging the student and all that Of course with only one year experience with my undergrad punya undergrad punya class Very little one But this is a very honest sharing uh, I hope all of us can gain something from there Alright So Terima kasih. Assalamualaikum for your thank you for your attention.